What's going on guys? Today we are going to discuss the DCS 2500T 56 volt little 12 inch bar chainsaw from Echo. So stay tuned. Let's jump right into this video, show you how this thing works, show you some specs or tell you some specs of it and show you it in action. They say you're going to get up to 60 cuts on the 2.5 amp hour battery. Uh, but we're going to show you this against, so I got a piece of four by six post and we're going to see how many cuts we can get with it and how well this actually cuts. So let's jump into that, show you this small little compact thing in action, and then we'll be back. All right. So here we go. We got a four by six. So here we go. Let's uh, see what we get cutting wise. We got our gloves we're putting on and our safety glasses of course all right so after you press that button you notice it starts blinking that means our brake is on so we take our brake off we're ready to go now you press this and off you go so uh here we go ready All right, I think we're done. <clears throat> All right, let me know down below what you think. How well do you think this cut for the 2.5 amp hour battery? Got quite a bit of cutting in with this. Now, I do assume, assume that uh, if I were to start and stop this every cut, that it would last not as long by any means. But let's go over some specs of this, tell you a little bit about it. So we got our oiler. Uh, this is where you add your oil at right here. And I really like this part because you lift this up and ta-da, makes it easy to twist off, put back on, and shazam. Uh, <clears throat> we have our power button right here. Now, once your brake is on and you turn this on, this will flash uh, pretty quick. And once you take your brake off, then it will go to a straight green to let you know that you're ready to go. If you look down in here, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can come oh, right here. Okay. So right here is how you adjust the oil on this so if you're not getting enough then you can adjust that if you're getting too much then uh once again you can adjust that on the side here we have how we can loosen our bar up clean this pull this off um, and then you have your adjuster right here for your chain so i mean very easy very simple simplified uh for this I, the one thing i kind of wish they had on this was a place to store your wrench but i don't see a place for that i wish it was but they don't so i don't know i don't know what's up with that i wish wish you know i don't, I don't like carrying it around everywhere so it would be nice if they had that uh, but they do not so that's you get what you get you don't throw a fit the end 
<clears throat> you got your screen down here, just slides in. Then we have a place for your, whoop, we have a place for your lanyard here. Then we have your hook. Now the cool thing about this hook, let me flip this around, is if you look right here, once you flip this up, it'll fall into that, bam. So it's not moving, not going anywhere for sure. Uh, and the only way to undo that is you push it together, squeeze it together here, and then pull it back down and ta-da on that. So uh, with a battery in this, they say 7.5 pounds. Without a battery, I weighed, I got 5.4. Uh, pretty light, pretty, pretty nice saw. It's got the metal here as well. Uh, no plastic or anything. I mean, honestly, this thing is pretty well built to be what it is. I never expected a, a battery powered saw to do what this does with the, the weight that it does. Because I mean, I've used bigger saws, 60 volt saws, 40 volt saws, things of that, that I don't think honestly would cut as quick as this does. Now, I don't know, it could be the chain, it could be, you know, there's, there's a lot of things to take into consideration with that. But another thing I wish they would have done that they didn't do, and I've got a good feeling of why they didn't do it, is because uh, overheating issues, but the 2.5 amp hour battery is all you're gonna fit in this. So just buy another 2.5 if you need it. Don't go spending your money on a 5.0, because it's not gonna fit whatsoever. I mean, you barely have room for the 2.5. So uh, get you a couple 2.5s and I think if you were using the 5.0, you'd probably end up overheating the battery or overheating the unit maybe. And that's why they made it to where you're not going to be able to use that with this. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. This is brushless uh, engine on it. So once again, DCS 2500T, y'all go check it out. Any questions, comment down below, let me know. Even if you don't have any questions, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this saw. How, what do you think it cut? Is this something you would carry around in your truck uh, for a quick, easy, just, hey, I've got to go do something real quick. This is, you know, going to do it, going to take care of it, get it done over with. You ain't got to worry about gas. You ain't got to worry about loud noises. Very quiet and uh, very, very macho. I mean, I, I, it did great for uh, for a saw in my opinion. I mean, I, I honestly felt it had way more cutting power than what I was expecting. And it kind of threw me for a loop. But uh, hey, that's a good thing, right? But hey, tool only, $429.99. Tool with battery and the charger. You were looking at uh, $499.99. And then another thing is, the, uh, with the regular charger, you're going to get 75 minutes to charge this 2.5 amp hour battery. And uh, with the regular rapid charger, you can get 38 minutes of time in order to do that. So uh, tried to get this video out to y'all pretty quick. I've just now got around to being able to use this thing and actually put it to a test and see what it was made of. And uh, that's what I came up with. So let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I am Danny and I will see you in the next one.